Welcome to this episode of DIY 3D Tech Tech Cam. In this episode, we're going to switch out this small 30 millimeter fan for a larger 50 millimeter fan. Uh, we're going to use the same adapter that uh, I used on the Wanhao. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace this fan set up like this. And this will mount on the top, sort of like that, onto here. And so we'll do that installation in a minute. So I printed this on the uh, Monoprice uh, Select Mini. It came out beautiful um, uh, in PLA. So there's enough separation here. There's no heat issue and with the 50 millimeter fan. Uh, came out very nice, about a two hour print. We'll do a time lapse of this uh, probably up in the upper corner as I do the assembly on, on here. Uh, the other piece I did and I want to show before I sealed it up is uh, the I, I just used uh, clipped off a, a two prong header pin from my Arduino collection. I've got a bunch of spare pins for building PCB boards, and I used that as the interface. And then what I'm going to do is, is slide this heat shrink tube over top of this. Now notice I did already did one side of the uh, wire here, so they won't short out. Then all this will get tucked up inside of that uh, inside of this uh, tube here. So make it a nice clean um, package and then obviously with this like this it won't uh, pop off because the heat shrink tube will seal it. So anyways let's go ahead and let's get to some of the assembly on this and then we'll come back at the end and see how it all works. So let's get to a quick time lapse. Okay, welcome back from the time lapse. So it took a little bit more it's typical to assemble this than I had planned. One of the things I found as I was assembling it, I didn't have uh, the right size shorter bolt, so I still used the uh, M345s. However, what I had to do is, and I'll put a kind of a side shot in, in the uh, overlay, is print an 8mm spacer to kick this out to take up the extra slack. I also added um, a grill over the cover of the fan. Nothing big, just make it look cool. I only put in two bolts because that's more than enough to hold it, so no sense putting in all four. Um, so everything's set up, so this all works now, so I've now got a lot more downforce. One of the things you probably did see uh, is putting this through the, the two remaining top pieces up here in the, in the uh, bracket broke, so what I did is I just ground, you know, filed them down and ground them off, so uh, that's gone. One of the other things I would point out that made it very handy is these Allen wrenches with the ball tips at the end so I could get in there at an angle. Another thing in full disclosure with this, with the longer screws, um, even though I could get them in past uh, the, the funnel piece, um, they did want to angle in. So what I did is had to take a, you know my heat gun and apply a little bit of heat to pry them back So because they wanted to go in like this. So all four of them were pressed in respectively uh, at an angle. So I just used the heat gun to kind of heat it up, knob along the holes a little bit. Um, it, it just because of the size of the heads of these particular bolts. Your bolts might not have the problem, especially if you probably use like a Phillips head uh, versus a, a hex head. You probably won't have it, but if you do, that's all you have to do, and it, it straightens them out. It doesn't take much. Um, so there it is. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Now, one of the reasons I switched up this is uh, I've had very good luck. I've, you know, as you know, remember I have a similar setup on the, on the Wanhao with the 50 millimeter, which I adapted from 30 to 50, and I used again the same funnel bracket and everything, uh, just attached it to the end of this. Um, you know, you could probably graft this all together in in Tinkercad or something if you wanted. However, the problem is going to be printing it out because each one of these pieces prints out nice on its own and if you just bolt it together, you know, it works fine. I would say that probably you need about a 35 um, 
millimeter because the, the fans, the, the, uh, the 30 millimeter fans are about uh, 10 millimeters deep so you'd probably have to knock that off if you don't want to use the spacer. Um, I went with an, I made an 8 millimeter spacer and I'll put it up with the files for this on Thingiverse when it goes up there. Uh, because I'm about two millimeters on the fan, but I think if you had 35 millimeter uh, M3, you should be fine. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting, and uh, maybe give it a shot on your tarantula. And hey, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. A lot more coming. Because next thing we're going to do is we're going to on the tarantula print an adapter for the power supply back here to convert it to banana plugs and add a switch to it. So. Uh, stay tuned, that's coming. Please Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.